Good evening, fellow Plexers, or good morning. It's just after midnight here. And before I go to bed, I am going to help a gentleman named Jeff, who's new to Unraid, who has an Unraid server with an NVIDIA GPU in it, and he does not have hardware acceleration enabled. So this is kind of flying without a net because I've only used a Intel iGPU in Unraid. So I sent these two URLs to him. Oh, actually, actually I got the wrong URL. Where's the other one? Okay, so I sent these two URLs, which tell someone how to get it going. And I'm going to show them my container setup with my iGPU in use. So let's bring Unraid in. And let me just check this instruction. Okay, so it talks about configuring the NVIDIA plugin. And I don't know if that's exactly what it's called. And you see I've got Plex running right now. And I got a couple, well, I got the same user watching two different things, him and his roommate. So it is what it is. So Jeff, go to apps, and let's go to installed apps first. So you'll see I have this GPU statistics running. Install that, and I have the Intel-GPU-top running. Don't install that, but let's see if there's an NVIDIA mate to it. Well, I see an NVIDIA driver. So the one in, well, let's see what's num on page two. Well, I guess that's what you'd want to install so you can make use of it in the Docker container. You don't need, you don't need that. So this must be it, install that. And I would still install this, the GPU statistics. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to, or I assume you're not going to be able to, let's see, where is it? Get this card, the GPU card going under the dashboard. Let's see what else this said to do. Let's narrow that up. Right, so it says to go to settings diagnostics. I don't think that's what I did. Let me try to figure out what I did first and then we'll follow those instructions. Let's see, what did I have to do? Under the GPU stats, Was there some place to tell it iGPU Intel versus? Oh yeah, right here. My font's a little large. So I had to select that. You may see your NVIDIA card once your driver's installed. And if you don't see it, um, maybe reboot your server. So I think that's all I did there. And was there something else I did? I've only set this Unraid server up in another test one. And I could probably check the video I made in a little playlist for a new Unraid setup for Plex off an Intel iGPU. You see, well, I'll just share that with you afterwards. Um, so let's go to the container. And I can't stop this container because I have people streaming, but I can show you the edit of it. So all you'd have to do to edit yours is just stop the container, click on it, 
and just stop it and then edit it. So let's switch to advanced view and let's go down to the bottom and show more settings. And let's see where the line is extra parameters. I'm going to break this out. I was getting ready to work on another video tonight before I went to bed, but we'll get you done first. Tomorrow is always another day. Okay, so this device line here adds my iGPU on the Intel processor into the mix. This line sets transcoding to RAM. I have 32 gigabytes in my little NUC, and I'm running Unraid as only a Docker host. I'm pointing back to media on my Synology NAS. So this 16 with a whole bunch of zeros is half my 32 gigs of RAM. To be honest with you, I have no idea what no health check means. It was just in Ibercorp's YouTube video, an excellent YouTube video to get hardware acceleration going under an Intel iGPU. So the only thing else about your container, I don't know if you have an um, SSD cache pool going, but when you set up a new Docker container under Unraid, let's see, where's the line that sets that up? The app data. This normally says user when you set that up, and that would bring your Docker install to the regular um, storage. If you change user to cache and you create the container, that gets created on the cache pool. So let me just show you that. So I have two 500 gigabyte SSDs, dissimilar ones. This is a um, NVMe drive and this is a SATA little um, SSD. My NUC only has one connection for each. If I was using something that had um, two NVMe slots or two SATA ports, I could use two identical drives and get a RAID configuration through the BIOS. But Unraid lets you mix and match different technologies to create that cache pool, and this is a RAID 1 cache pool. And because I'm not doing anything fancy with the Star apps, and I don't have any storage on this unit, 500 gigabytes is more than I more than enough for a few Docker containers that point back to my Synology NAS. If you had a full star set up and you were bringing in files to the fast SSD to then be transferred to your rusty storage array in Unraid, you'd want bigger um, SSDs for your cache pool. All right, so that's a lot of talk, but if I click into it, the app data folder holds my Plex container and the other containers. And you'll see Tautuli is running channels DVR. Um, I just started a small test Minecraft server to see how it worked for my two adult sons because the guys they were playing with stopped paying for their server. I'll probably recreate this under Ubuntu on a little ninth gen HP Pro Desk system. Um, all right, so anyway, let's go back to the container. I don't think I'm missing anything. Well, this is what I wanted to mention. I'm using the Linux server container. I don't know how you created yours, but I assume it's going to be similar settings. So really, turn on the advanced settings, show more of, of it, and it's the, um, what line is it? Oh, I'm still under basic view, which is why I couldn't see it. It's the extra parameters line. And there is a space in between all three of these different instructions. 
Okay, so let's go back to these instructions. So we did this diagnostic thing. You create your container. Um, and these are your instructions. So here's that parameter to, line to, to add to the extra parameters line. And again, you have to go into Plexus settings and turn on hardware acceleration. So let me do that. So that's under which server? I've got multiple servers. I've got some test ones. So pull your um, server up in the settings and go to transcoder. And I just set mine for automatic transcoding. This is the temporary directory I have to set. Um, because of my settings in the container to transcode to RAM. It's just slash TMP. Um, I've got hardware tone mapping enabled, and this is the money one. Use hardware acceleration when available. Um, by default, it's going to be on auto. I like the looks of this better, so you can change that if you want. You should see your NVIDIA GPU there, and you just hit save changes. So let me get this up to YouTube for you and definitely let me know through a PM and on my YouTube channel if this was enough instructions to get your NVIDIA GPU going. And I think this, this is similar, but this one gives you the information needed to use part of the RAM for transcoding and it looks like he's using 30 gigabytes. I do fine with 16 out of 32 total gigabytes. And again, he's got the no health check. So this is a good thing. You can just copy and paste this and put it in and then just adjust this for the amount of RAM you want to use for transcoding or just eliminate it completely. But if you're using, that's an important thing. If you're using um, SSDs for a cache pool and that's where your container is running, you don't want transcoding to write to the SSDs because that will wear them out faster. You definitely want to push the transcoding to RAM. If your container is just on your rusty hard drives, who cares, right? But I mean, transcoding to RAM would be more efficient, but you know, NAS drives can with, withstand a lot more writes than SSDs can, or maybe, maybe they don't, I don't know. This is just how I've set it up. So this gives you an example of everything and, okay, so that's media. Where is this container pointed to? I don't think I have this defined in my settings. Oh, and it shows this for the GPU under NVIDIA device. And of course, he does have the card um, in the dashboard too. And there's the hardware acceleration. So maybe someday I should try a little test um, Unraid server with an NVIDIA GPU on my desktop PC with my GeForce 3060 card, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. All right, so this is long, it's disjointed, but sometimes my videos are. Let me get this out to you and you can play with it and let me know how it works out.